Put up, guys. Fenris is dead. It's over. I'm dropping this show, but here we are. Still watching. Why? Because let's get real. Fenris isn't actually dead. You guys are so mean in the YouTube comment section too, by the way. Some dude was honestly like, guys, I think Fenris is dead. <laughs> Sorry, no. Someone said, guys, I don't think Fenris is actually dead. Then you motherfuckers were like, no shit, retard. I'm like, guys, relax. We're just joking around, okay? I don't think Fenris is dead. But like, we can't heal her either. We tried, but it didn't work. There's like this like light and like dark magic or some shit that been used. I don't know. There's got to be a way to save her, right? And in the opening, you know how like Fenris is always this, you know, uh, Danna sama, Danna sama. I thought that it would be so hilarious if this opening, if there is one today, they just skip Danna sama and then they they put Mao sama, but it's Bali Rosa singing Mao sama for the dark one. I think that that would be fucking peak. Anyways, let's begin today's reaction. All our waifus are dying this season of anime, bro. I hope Yoshino gets donutted and don't date alive. The brooch! I should've known. The moment that we start going on shopping, the moment that we like go somewhere and like have a fun time and go on a date, it's just like, okay, some shit's about to go down. Cause the only reason you have these happy memories is for us to feel fucking terrible when shit like this happens. You're gonna be loyal in the fucking underworld? You dead! Oh! <laughs> but, uh, Danna sama might actually pop off, and there might be a really cool actual moment. I read a funny comment. You know how, like, Fenris, and she just said it now, how their species is all about strength, right? Might makes right. You can do whatever you want. So, when we purify the forest and we kill the brother accidentally, Fenris is like, skill issue. Fuck it, right? If he was truly strong, he wouldn't have died. Fenris died. Skill issue. Can we say that to her? I saw that and I'm like, that's so mean! But technically, we're applying her own ideology. Yeah, yeah, skill issue. He didn't, so he's weak. So cute, Fenris! This is really swelling up towards like a triumphant moment. Maybe Danna-sama will pop off? Can we use light and dark magic now, yeah? Slay the Jin. Did I say this last episode? Like, if we can't heal her, then what's the only other option? Fucking go back in time. You the bet or dot it or I forget the one that goes back in time. <laughs> Oh, what a stop! Holy shit, he had it in him. Because, like, so far, this main character meant, like, nothing to me. Because this show was just basically all about Fenris and the waifus around having a great fun time. We're chilling. But he is looking like a main character out for fucking blood. Power fantasy type, like fucking Isekai, bro. Let's go. First time seeing Frio be mad like that. Ooh, let's go, dude. <laughs> Infinity! The Jin knows what infinite means. Ooh. Oh! She deserves this. She deserves this. You died! Yes. Yes! No magic being used! Just bare hands! <laughs> I thought she might stop him and say, No, Dinosaur, I'm fine! I'm fine! Stop hurting the gin! No, 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 no. She built different, bro. She's not a regular girl. She's a fucking lupine or whatever, bro. Let's fucking go. She's like, you know what? Keep fighting. Yeah, fuck her up more. Want me to join in? 2v1. <laughs> oh, physical attack shouldn't even work. Yet we're... D That's even more disrespectful. That, like, it shouldn't work. And it's, like, the most base way of beating somebody up. We're not even using magic, and we're still doing it. <laughs> He's not fighting. This is self-defense for his loved one. <laughs> 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 
Yes! Dude, the voice acting totally changed today. You know what? That was a very clever way of doing this. Because this is very cliche, right? Of when, like, the main character goes berserk out of emotional, um, em emotional conflict. And then the girl, like, stops him before doing something uh, too bad, right? But like, at least before doing that, they did give us her being like, let's fucking go! Woo! But then she realizes, oh yeah, Sarfrio isn't really like that. So she's doing it more for his sake. It's actually, it, it's, it's, it's better this way, I guess, rather than her just like stopping him before he... Yep. I mean, he can show the kindness back at home, but outside, you know, I want to fuck shit up. <laughs> body, body, he's, she's alive, she's alive, she's not cold anymore. I'm like, what the fuck does that mean? Please. <laughs> this is funny to me, because like, this is such a heartfelt moment, they're crying. Oh, Reese, don't let them Bali is walking over, and then Jin's just like, <laughs> look at the Jin, dude. I don't think the body's any warm anymore over here. What's going on with the Jin? Well... The conflict was resolved pretty fast. <laughs> They're here to beg for help, I think? Did they were supposed to be out for like a month or something, right? After using so much mana for the teleport? And you're saved. Bakana! Oh, failed to grant the wish because his, the shitty Yusha's wish to the Jin was kill Frio, but she couldn't do it. So if it doesn't get fulfilled, Collar goes out. Good, I want to see that. I'll be in front row eating popcorn. What the fuck is this? Wait, are there two Jins? I was gonna say this for a second for Suya because she was just walking fan service, but hey, she's right back, and a new person has possessed her. What the fuck is up with this room, bro? Whoa, this fucking room. I thought that the sword was like sealing the gin or some shit, but it's like, nah. There's like a second person in here. Like, what is this thing? <laughs> Goodbye, gold digger. <laughs> What kind of clothes you want to? <laughs> I thought that she was gonna be like, I'm showing too much skin. I'ma change to something else. But it's like, nah, 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 nah. This drip is not slutty enough. Let me show you something else. Hello, Lisa from Genshin Impact. What is what is going on right now? No complaint from me either. Does he not realize this is not Zuya? The Jin was sealed, but the Jin was also sealing this girl. How the fuck does this work? <laughs> Dai Marina Su. What is she? Da Marina Su is the Grand Magus of Midnight. Uh, okay. No, he's turning into a monster, I think. Yeah. <laughs> Honestly, kind of true. Kind of true. What did she say? That looks much better than the slow, what a dopey face you had before, which is such a call out because the character is obviously intentionally, you know, slow, right? They're trying to make the Yusha as like stereotypically as shitty as possible. I enjoyed his voice acting. <laughs> the noble sealed her away. Frio. No? All right, just when I thought. There's another girl ready to fucking go down. I'm ready to go down. Anyways, the Jin is still here. And now she's going to join our harem. Is, is she going to live rent-free at her place? Oh. 
yeah, that piece of shit, bro. It was him. The light and dark magic, right? That he kind of apparently processed, or at least the AI voiced it. So we'll keep you. Oh. We got a servant. Let's go, guys. Not a slave, a servant. Okay. This show started off by saying, damn, I hate slavery. No more slavery. And I was like, wow, an easy guy where there's no slavery. That's rare. And it's like, nah, psych. <laughs> Jin is a slave. It actually would look really OP in a resume, yeah. Ooh, her ears all the way down. <laughs> what the fuck? Deep press. Skill issue. Skill issue, right? She said that about her big bro. Well, actually, Fenris was also trying to save Danna Sama during the slash, so maybe it's not fair. Damn, that's crazy. 12 minutes and 27 seconds. White lighting, handshake, but like, but like, it's, huh? within like eight minutes, we went from this to just like holding her fucking hand, bro. All right, let's go. But he's different. The hatred. He's transcended that. Oh. 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 Okay, dope. We got another waifu. That's kind of lewd. This body belongs to you. Already the fucking curb stomper, bro. Yeah, that scene, remember? Why is it that just recalling that look? Giving you the thrill? Whoa, 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 whoa. Yeah, some girls are freaky, freaky. Some girls, like, the sun girls are like, punch me! And you'd be like, what? Choke me! Are you sure? Harder! <gasps> so she's like super into. I don't know. She's kinky. Zoku Zoku. More than Waku Waku. <laughs> Benry's tail is also standing up like a fucking cat. That's mad. Yeah, so can you independently rewind time for each like structure? How does that work? Why? Unforeseen accidents. So by us using it on Fenris there, potentially we could have fucked something up there. Well, not potentially, we did fuck something up. Do you think that, like that, um, what's it called? The other person, the fucking Lisa from Genshin Impact, that girl is the result of us using time magic there? Is that possible? I don't know. I'm just trying to think of like, okay, if he did something and some fucked up shit's gonna happen, all I can remember is that un unless there's some shit that's gonna happen in the future. Because he has infinite skills, he can just use it. Sure. Sideways 8. That's the one. Oh, that's why she called us transcendent one. Basically, the little two cheat. He has everything. More OP than Rimuru in terms of gaining skills like that. I kind of want to use it. I want to abuse this shit. Sounds kind of fun. No, we shouldn't. We shouldn't. I wonder what she's thinking here. Does she feel guilty? That Danna Sama went out of his way to, you know, use all those fucking, you know, time manipulation magic. Is she rizzed up? 
seeing Dana Sama's powers and maybe she's feeling insecure? Is she unconfident in the discussion that the Jin and Dana Sama was having as she felt left behind? I don't know. Hello, Jin here. <laughs> I, 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 I mean, you guys are gonna say, what the fuck are these regular commoners gonna fucking, you know, hang out with the Jin? That's crazy, right? But hey, hey, this is a Dragon Slayer. This is a Dragon Slayer. I guess people are really scared of Jin's due to, like, I don't know, stories. I wonder how Hia feels about that. If she just floats, do you see that? <laughs> no, I was just thinking about punching that girl in the face. That was fun. You want to get punched too, bitch? No, body doesn't show. Hmm. Use it to protect people. That's right, it's all flipped here. To get with the dark one, Mao-sama. The dark one! You gonna lift up the dark one with your blade! I think the most obvious thing is that the Mao is in love with you, but she doesn't really know yet, right? Yeah, she did have that look before we left, right? When the Jin and Danna-sama was talking. Oh, that's what she was thinking about. Yeah, but the life in the other world fucking sucked. I had to have an arm like this. Fuck that. He's gonna stay here for sure. Is she gonna get knocked up? To like, basically have Danna-sama stay here? It's like, you can't leave me. You knock me up. I got a baby now. Danna-sama, you gotta fucking take responsibility. I don't know, she's on top right now. Oh. Yeah, fuck the other girls, but don't leave me behind. <laughs> no, he would never. Oh, this is the opening theme, but it's piano right now. I love you. Oh! Do it. Yeah, I don't think she, I think she was committed from the fucking beginning. Babum. 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 I can hear her hurt. Yeah. Girl form. No, not the girl form. No, no, the, the, the other form. Uh, if you switch to the girl, because we haven't seen the girl form in a long time, right? <laughs> oh, this is so lewd. Wait, someone's opening the door. Who is this? Pia! Why are you here, Jin? She listened to the entire thing. Yes, she did. Even if he's taking his shit, you're gonna be fucking wiping his ass? What the fuck? Breeding is perfectly normal. Do it in front of me. She's like a cook queen. She's like, yes. Spread Fenris open and clap her cheeks. Let me fucking witness it. I need to see my supreme being share his supreme seed. 
all the other girls could also listen the entire time. What, 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 what? Do you think that they're fucking clapping cheeks right now? You can't hear this. Doesn't make it any better. Yo, this Jin is a freak, bro. She said, I'll just get invisible and watch you instead. She's gonna be fucking just pumping it in the fucking corner, just watching Dana Sama, you know, fucking do his thing, but. What an insane episode. Apparently, a lot of people were upset at the ending of today's episode because of the way that the anime just adapted it. In the manga, he did not interrupt here, and they had a passionate saying. This conversation about Hia watching was in the morning after they did it. So they basically just blue balled us. They skipped the sex scene, and they decided to put the comedic relief in the beginning. I think it would have been funnier if they fucking just, you know, they did the deed. And then next morning, we wake up, and nobody seems to really know what happened, but then he is like, so, yeah, I saw that all. And then that would have been hilarious, right? That would have been, I don't know, you could still have the comedic relief at the end, but they, I guess, did this because, I don't know, fucking ratings to make sure that the anime can pass a certain guideline. I mean, Remaster's doing whatever the fuck it wants. Anyways, today's episode, probably the best episode. I think this is the first time we've seen Frio actually show a like anger right i love moments like this when the main character like finally starts to pop up isn't just mr nice guy right it's just so good seeing frio what he used to be and now where he just they just straight up just punching the shit out of a gin physical attacks that should not even work on a gin but he was still doing it just to be even more disrespectful this was fucking raw fenris Basically saying, oh my god, Dana-sama, this is great. Not stopping in the beginning. That was great. Unfortunately, we do have to have a cliche where the girls save the guy before the guy, you know, changes or stuff like that. Now, it's not over yet, though, because there's this new person who was apparently sealed because of the djinn, which is crazy to me. I wonder if she is the byproduct of the, um, the, the side effects that happen when we use the time manipulation, because Hia did say that... If it's not just me, if someone else uses the time manipulation, then something could go wrong here. So I'm wondering if she is the byproduct of that, or maybe that something going wrong is something that's like a flag for the future. So we'll have to see that blossom later on. This girl, uh, she's pretty nice. She's, she's, she's really nice. This, her design is amazing. I think we have to uh, owe Suya for a lot of the, you know, the fan service because it is still her body after all. She just immediately just turns into Chimera. Shits on us saying, you fucking dumb motherfucker. This suits you better. So they're coming at us now. Maybe next episode we'll deal with this shit and it's going to be hilarious. I don't know. They don't really have a Yusha anymore. Not that the Yusha was ever useful. And, you know, Furio is known as the true hero according to the prophecy. So I doubt that he's going to go back. And also, is the Dark One still attacking the Velids because he thinks that Bali Rosa is dead? I don't know. It's unfortunate what happened at the end, but still nice to see that Fenris and Frio's ship has been pretty much just beyond, you know, play wife and husband because, you know, she was always committed to the act, but he wasn't until now and he realizes, damn, I think I have something to protect. But that's it for me. If you're still here, if you did enjoy this reaction, please like the video, check out the other playlists for more content, and until next time, take care.